This is BBC World News. I'm Geetha Goramuthi. Our top stories. A suicide attack in southwest Pakistan has killed at least nine police officers. The explosion struck a police truck in Balochistan province. One month after the devastating earthquakes that killed more than 50,000 people in Turkey and Syria, many are still living without proper shelter as the region battles this crisis. You can't deal with devastation on a scale like this in days or even in weeks. The impact of this is going to be felt by people here in southern Turkey for years. In Ukraine, fierce fighting continues as Russian forces advance on the eastern city of Bakhmut. The deputy mayor says the region is almost destroyed. And the stars behind the Irish comedy, The Banshees of Inner Sharon, speak to us ahead of the Oscars on Sunday. To feel it as colloquial and then see it go out into the world and be received by people from all sorts of, you know, the corners of the globe that we share is pretty surprising and cool. Hello, welcome to BBC World News. Now, exactly a month after the devastating earthquakes which killed more than 50,000 people across Turkey and Syria, many are still coping with the crisis and a lack of proper shelter on an unprecedented scale. The United Nations Development Programme, the UNDP, estimates that in Turkey alone at least one and a half million people are still inside the disaster zone with nowhere to live. The true figure could be even higher. Our Middle East correspondent Anna Foster is in Antakya for us. Anna. Anna. 